Hey y'all, hey, welcome back. My name is Crystal. This is your first time here. And today I am back with yet another Boxy Charm Box Unboxing. That was a lot of boxes in that sentence. Boxing, boxing. This is the April Boxy Charm, so let's open it up and dive right on in. All right, for those few of you who do not know what BoxyCharm is, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription beauty box. Um, there's different size boxes for different prices. Basically, I got the $25 base box. I also get the Luxe box, but with the Luxe box, I only receive the Luxe boxes three times, every three months. The Luxe box is $49 versus the $25 that I pay for the base box each month. But again, you only get the Luxe box every three months. With the base box, I get about five to seven full size items for $25 and when I tell you it's worth the money because one product in the box can be at least $125 and you, you've doubled your money um, with that one item. So to me, BoxyCharm is really, really worth it. I used to do Ipsy uh, bags, but I, I, BoxyCharm is so much better than Ipsy in my opinion. Anyway, enough about that. Check out the website for more details. Inside each BoxyCharm box, you get a little pamphlet with the month's theme of the box and then information on each product inside of the box. Again, this is the April box. This is their Sweet Treats box. Um, let's pull out an item and see what it is. <laughs> First up, we have this mascara by Tarte. This is the Man Eater Mascara. I've seen so many good reviews on this mascara. I've never tried it personally um, because it's like $20-something dollars. Nah. -uh. Warning, maximum compliments ahead with this volumizing, lifting, and curling mascara with a soft flex brush and lightweight triple black formula. Uh, yeah, this mascara retails for $23. That's the same price as the Better Than Sex uh, mascara from Too Faced, which I have tried and I did really like. So, again, I've heard really good things about this mascara and I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy it. I love mascaras because I was like born lashless, so... Any mascara that's going to volumize and lengthen my lashes, I am here for it. I'm not saying I'm willing to pay $23 for mascara. I have to really, really love it. Really, really love it. Because I found some really nice drugstore mascaras that have been doing me well um, that I would run out and get before I pay $23 for mascara. But we shall see. This next item is from a brand that I've never heard of before. It's actually a body cleanser. We've, I've never received a body wash or a body cleanser in one of my BoxyCharm boxes, I do not believe. This is by Terry DeMars. It might actually be Spanish. I'm supposed to be rolling my R's like Ter Terry DeMars. Terry DeMars. We're going to call him Terry today. <laughs> Terry DeMars. <laughs> okay. I can roll my R's when it comes to that, but I can't roll my R's when it comes to this random it says that this is an organic low foaming aromatic and soft cleanser suitable for all skin types infused with bioactive ingredients such as coffee and rosemary extracts infusion with verbena oil together they tone purify and protect the skin while aloe vera nourishes and softens it Ooh, smells good i'll give this a try it smells citrusy almost it smells really good. I'm going to give that a try. And this body cleanser retails for $22. Next up, we have an eyeshadow palette. This is from Natasha Denona. Now, I normally do not buy Natasha Denona products because they are mad expensive. There was one eyeshadow palette that I did have my eyes on, but I saw the price and I took my eyes right up off it. <laughs> it was $129. This is the Jubilee palette. This is really pretty. This is what it looks like. The shades really scream uh, spring to me. You have um, Vintage Taupe. This one here is Intense. This yellow one is Limoncello. You have Enigma. And then you have Mint Frost. I've only heard really good things about Natasha Denona um, eyeshadows. Uh, again, I've never tried them because they are expensive. This palette here retails for $48. Yeah, the one that I really wanted, it was really pretty, but... It was no way I was going to spend $129 on it. Um, this is a special edition palette created exclusively for BoxyCharm featuring five colorful ultra pigmented shades that bring together a combination of celebration and balance between bold and pastel tones. This fun palette is packed with Natasha's iconic buttery smooth formulas made with the highest quality of pure pigments, dazzling chroma crystals, and luminous pearls. Use it for a variety of creations from playful, colorful, modern looks to everyday wear with a pop of color. Suitable for every skin tone, cruelty-free, and allergen-free. 
And again, this retails for $48. I also got this lipstick from Laura Geller. This is the Iconic Bake Sculpting Lipstick. This is a metallic lipstick in the shade Highline Honey. Artisan baked pigments and rich moisturizers saturate lips with creamy, vibrant color that feels weightless and lasts all day. A curved bullet shape allows for single swipe application, providing long lasting, high impact wear. This lipstick retails for $21. Let's check it out. Simple black tube. Oh, this is a really pretty color. This is a nice nude shade. This is a really, it is metallic too. This is a really pretty shade. This is a nice everyday lipstick and I definitely see myself wearing this. Okay, Laura Gellin. And we are down to our last item in the box. This is from Touch and Soul. This is the Icy Sherbet Primer. Mm, silicone free and cooling effect. Um, let's see what it says. Lock your looks in place with... Mm. Lock your looks in place and keep them cool and icy with Sherbet Primer. This gel primer has an instant cooling effect once applied that hydrates and preps the skin for makeup. The formula is silicone free with water capturing technology to lock in moisture and leave your skin feeling silky smooth. Ooh, I'm definitely going to try this. <laughs> oh, the packaging is really, really pretty. It puts me in the mindset of my one of my favorite skincare lines, Glow Recipe. Um, even though all of their packaging is glass and recyclable, <laughs> this one is not glass, but it kind of reminds me of it for some reason. This is not what it looks like. <laughs> oh, it's gel. It smells like roses i was expecting like sweet ice cream this is what it looks like it's a gel consistency hmm. it's definitely cooling to the touch this is going to feel really nice on the face when i do apply it hmm this is nice and the rose smell is not super super overpowering like i'm not the biggest fan of rose scents but this is a light faint rose scent or maybe not faint, because I definitely smell the rose. But why would they call it sherbet and make it smell like roses? I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to give this a try. I've never tried Touch and Soul products before, but I've seen them around and I've saw some reviews on them. Uh, so this is the first time I'm going to try out something from Touch and Soul. And yeah, that is it. So I got a mascara, body wash, an eyeshadow palette, a lipstick, and a primer in this month's box. I am happy with all of these items. Um, I really thought I was going to be giving something away out of this box, but now I'm keeping it all. I'm selfish. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming back and dealing with my silly ass. Thanks so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And until my next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.